let's talk about the recent advancements that we have brought to chart syncing, specifically what's possible now from the multi-chart layout. Before we get to the chart syncing features that are brand new and are going to help on multi-time frame analysis, multi-asset analysis, and more, let's first remind you that the multi-chart layout is how you can chart multiple symbols at once according to a specific number of symbols that you want to see. So for example, if you want to see two symbols side by side or two charts side by side, go ahead to two, see this two, and then pick the layout that fits your needs and click. And now you have two charts side by side. We have one that says NVIDIA and one that says Apple. And even if we hover, hover our mouse over the center here, the border, we can actually click and drag to customize the exact location of these two charts. So depending on the monitor you have or the type of screen you have, you can create a fully custom workspace. We could go up to six charts. So now we have six charts right here and all of them can be specific to our needs. So we have NVIDIA, you can see NVIDIA. We have Apple, we have Apple. Why don't we add some more symbols? We can add BTC USD here. We can add USD JPY here. We can add Amazon here. And why not lastly, we can add Google here. So now we have six symbols all in front of us, six separate charts. And once again, if we hover our mouse over the borders, we can fully customize the look and feel of these charts to fit our monitor or our exact needs. So now you know the basics of the multi-chart layout. You can see the power of this, especially if you are following a watch list or a portfolio or a trading strategy, or just looking at multiple charts at once. There's really no cleaner or more beautiful way to do it. But for this video, now that we've shown you the basics, we want to remind you about chart syncing. This is a feature that makes analysis incredibly fast and effortless every time you use this multi-chart layout mode. So we're gonna start with a two by two chart layout. We wanna look at four charts. We've already selected it here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have four different symbols, but we're going to sync all of these symbols based on the type of analysis we're doing. So for example, at the bottom, there is some text here that says sync in layout, and you guessed it. When we start to select these menu items, we will sync every chart in our layout according to our selection. So for example, this says interval. If we hover our mouse over interval, it says interval, interval changes on all charts of the layout simultaneously. So let's select it. And as you can see, we have a one week chart of NVIDIA here. And now you're going to notice every single chart is a one week chart. One week Apple, one week Amazon, one week USD JPY, one week NVIDIA. Why don't we take NVIDIA down to a, a daily chart? Every chart syncs to a daily chart. Or let's bring NVIDIA down to a four hour chart. Every chart here syncs to a four hour chart. Why is this important? Let's walk through a quick example. Let's say for example, in fact, Apple is the number one symbol that you're watching. And in the other screen, you're watching the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And in the other screen, you're watching the VIX or volatility metric. And in the other screen, you're watching a competitor of Apple, Apple Google. So what you've just created now is you've created four charts that are all interconnected in various ways because Apple, after all, is a component of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Volatility, after all, is a measure of how volatile or fast moving the market is pricing in the options market and Alphabet is a competitor of Google. 
and you have all of these char charts synced to a time frame. So if you have a pair trade on, maybe you are long Apple and short Google, you can watch all of these on the exact same time frame, and you can very quickly speed through these time frames to look for the insights that you want to see. You could be charting on a one minute. Maybe you're trading on a super short time frame, one quick day trade. You have all of this inf information in front of you, and every single time you change these charts, they are all going to simultaneously sync together. Now, everything we just showed you works for all of these syncing features, including symbol. If you wanted to look at four symbols at once, you could. Or crosshair. The crosshair is, you guessed it, the crosshair on the chart. Well, why does that matter? If you want to study the price of a certain movement on a chart, you can see the crosshair on every other chart is aligning up to that exact same date. Because after all, we have different zooms on each tar chart, or we have different starting points and ending points. And when you have crosshair synced across the charts, no matter if the charts are on different time frames or zooms, the crosshairs will move simultaneously at that exact equal spot on each other chart. So we'll just open up the menu one more time and remind you that the time interval is when clicked on a single chart, others get scrolled to display the same point in time as well. So why don't we now also do time, but uncheck crosshair. So for example, time would mean that if we sort of go to a specific point in time, every chart on your layout will also go to that point in time. Then of course there is date range. Date range is the starting and ending point of the chart. So for example, if we have Apple here and we want to go back to a daily chart and we want to look at it over one year, every symbol now is over one year. You know, you can already see why this is so powerful because you're analyzing key components of the market that are potentially trading either in a correlation or an inverse correlation, and you can analyze them all at once. Well, if Apple's doing this, maybe Google's doing that, perhaps volatility is telling you something on the same time frame, and that in turn could impact the bullish or bearish narrative of Apple. Apple, after all, is a very large component in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, one of the highest weighted stocks in that average. So if Apple's going up, that may just push the Dow up. Hopefully you're starting to understand how you can use these layouts now to find analysis across all of the charts that you look at and using the syncing feature to do your best analysis. Okay, but there's one more feature that we just have to show you. And that is the new interval syncing feature or symbol syncing feature. So what you see here now, this previously did not exist until recently and hopefully you've watched the video up into this point because this is a really cool feature where you can create your own syncs within your layout. So this is a link here. So we're going to click the link. Now you're going to see chart syncing. So these icons now are what we are going to attach this chart to. This is the group that it's going to fall under. For this exam example, to make it you know memorable, let's click the, the clover, the lucky clover. So we're going to click the clover. And now down here at Apple, because it's a competitor, we want Apple and Google to be perfectly grouped. We're also going to go to the link and click and click the clover. Now we don't really mind the Dow or the S&P. We don't want to group them. We want to keep them separate. But see here, we have these clovers here. So we have two clovers. And let's make sure we change this back to Google. So we're going to do Google here. And now we have Google Clover and Apple Clover. And what we can do is on interval. So we have interval synced. Let's make sure we have interval synced. And now let's go to a 15 minute interval. And did you notice what just happened? Only Apple and only Alphabet changed intervals. So before these were linked or synced or grouped by the Clover, now only these two are. So rather than all four, we just have two. So we've created this group within our layout. Let's so, so watch the Google chart very closely as we change the interval on this Apple chart. Why don't we look at Apple from a monthly time frame? Let's zoom out. 
every candle will represent one full month of trading. Watch Google when we do this. And both charts instantly are now monthly charts. Meanwhile, the Dow chart and the VIX chart did not change because they are not part of a group. But check this out. Let's go ahead and make a group. So we can add, let me add the uh, S&P 500 ETF SPY and up here let's add BTC USD so we can now group the S&P 500 and the dollar because now we have two th separate things going on we're going to look at Apple versus Google and we're going to look at Bitcoin versus the S&P 500 so let's click the link and for this example let's click the heart so now it's grouped to a heart for Bitcoin let's click the link and now let's click the heart and now it's linked to a heart. Let's make sure that this symbol is BTC USD. Okay, so we have Apple, Clover, Google, Clover, Bitcoin, heart, and S&P 500 heart. We have two groups, two entirely separate groups operating within our two by two layout. You can imagine once you start to become a pro trader that you could have, for example, the three by three multi-chart layout showing six charts with multiple groups within that chart. So you are creating a work environment within a work environment. And for this heart, for the heart links, you can see them here, they're totally synced. Let's go to our date range and let's make these charts, these two hearts, fully synced by the date range. So we can go ahead and click one month. And now we've got all of our charts synced to that exact date range. And you can see the difference here where these are, these heart charts are actually showing the breakpoints of each session, whereas our previous four leaf clover charts are not. That's because they are entirely separate groups. And now we're gonna go ahead and unselect this and let's go ahead and click symbol, how about? So now what we've done is we've synced these two charts by symbol. So watch what happens when we change the symbol on this chart, but watch this chart closely. So watch this chart closely when we change the symbol. Why don't we change this symbol to your USD? And as you can see, the only charts that are now your USD are this chart at the bottom left in this chart at the top right. Notice that Apple stayed the same here. We do have uh, Apple down here too, but let's go back to Google now. And we have these charts also syncing to the symbol of our choice as well. But now let's turn off symbol and let's go to Google and we'll type in Apple. And here is Apple and Google, but we still have Euro, USD, Euro, USD. The possibilities here are all in your hands on how you want to sync these charts and how you want them to appear. Key point, just remember, is you want to look for the linking feature and click it like this. And then you want to find the icon that you want to sync it to. And you're going to click that icon and it will be suddenly synced to that icon. In addition, you want to remember that you are syncing it to a specific selection in the multi-chart layout menu, whether it is symbol or interval interval. And once you have that selected, these chart groups will then adjust based on that. So thanks so much for watching. We're excited to see you get started with this new tool. And remember, the multi-chart layout is how you can watch multiple symbols at once across different asset classes, across different symbols, countries, time frames. It's all up to you. In fact, we did not even show you one of our favorite examples, which is multi time frame analysis. So for those who actually have stuck around, we're going to do a quick bonus two minutes to show you some multi time frame analysis. Okay, let's make sure that interval is off. But let's sync our symbols. And let's have Apple here. And we're going to look at our at a one hour Apple on a one hour chart. Down here, we're going to look at Apple on a daily chart. And now what we've done, and in the year USD, let's go to 15 minutes. And on this chart, let's go to four hours. And now what we've done is we've created a multi time frame analysis workflow. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means we're zoomed in here to the hourly chart. So perhaps we're trading the hourly chart. But right here to the bottom right, 
perfectly grouped with the Apple chart to the top left. We are looking at Apple from a daily chart. So we are trading this small time frame, this one hour time frame. Each candle represents an hour within this larger daily time frame. So now you can see that there's, there's been this drop here. But look at the daily chart down here. That is not a pretty candle at all. So we are trading this one hour time frame within this daily time frame. And that gives us a huge informational edge because we can see what the larger trend, the daily trend is saying. Look at the candle here, the reversal, the redness versus what's happening on the hourly. If we are trading multiple symbols at once, if we do think there's a correlation, why don't we go back to the Google example? After all, Amazon, iOS versus, uh, versus Google Play, they're, they're competing phones. Android versus iOS, they're competing uh, OSs. We could be watching, for example, Google on a 15 minute time frame to see if it's trading better than Apple at this point, while also keeping the long term in mind. Here's a daily chart of Google. So now we have the Apple one hour time frame. We're zoomed in. Bottom right, we can see the larger time frame. This represents the whole day, or let's zoom out to a week. So now we can see Apple on a weekly basis. And at the top right, we're also looking at Google, a competitor, to see how it's reacting to this news. Is it trading better than Apple? Is it winning? Is it losing? What's the better platform to be on? We can follow all of these questions in real time just by setting up the perfect workspace for us. So thanks so much for watching. We hope that you get started on the multi-chart layout. Additionally, what's really important Make sure that you get used to how to sync the features within your chart. And specifically, what's really exciting is making your own syncing or groups within the layout. So one more time, we have this orange triangle here or this orange diamond. We have an orange diamond here. We have a heart here and a heart here. So these two are synced. These two charts are connected and these two charts are connected. So pretty cool. Go get started. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.